G'day and welcome to the ABCs of PSC. In each of the next 26 videos on my channel, we're going to be looking at one tool in the Photoshop Elements toolbox. So today's letter of the day is the letter A. And for that, we are going to be learning all about the quick selection tool. Make sure you hit subscribe and click the bell icon so that you won't miss any videos. And if you want email reminders, Sign up to my email list and you'll also get a free set of shortcut cards. So what is the quick selection tool? Well, the quick selection tool is this tool in the selection um, set of tools. And when you press A, you activate the quick selection. And what does the quick selection do? Well, if you drag it over your image, it selects your image based on where you drag. So as you see, it was pretty easy for me to select the skin tones on Lucy's face. We're just going to hit select, deselect to start again fresh. And I'm gonna show you some of the settings that you can choose from in the quick selection tool options bar. You can change the size of your, select, of your brush to make it easier to select more or less. You can also change your brush settings here you can click refine edge to smooth out the edges, increase the feathering if you want to blend out the edges, or shift the edge if you want to include more or include less in your selection. You can also choose to decontaminate colors. In this case, you can see that there's a bit of a red reflection from her red coat. And if we do decontaminate colors, that is removed. There's lots of options in the refine edge. So let's cancel out of that and let's take a look at the other options in the tool options panel. Firstly, we have sample all layers. That's great for if you have um, done some retouching on your image. For example, say if I've repaired some spots or some scratches on Lucy's face here, and then I want to create a selection, sample all layers, allows me to select not only on this blank new layer, but also the repairs layer and the original photos layer. Auto Enhance enables the quick selection to generate better quality edges on your selection. If your selections are a bit blocky, give Auto Enhance a go. It'll probably um, reduce the size of your selection slightly to give a smoother appearance. Then you have your final button, which is select subject, which uses the Adobe Sensei engine to select what is the subject of your photo. And you can see here what a great job it's done of selecting Lucy. If I create a new layer from the selection and then turn off the original photo, you can see, well, it's kind of blended her hair and the rocks into the background, but otherwise it has done a really great job of making a quick selection. If we go back to our tool options, you can see there's more than just the quick selection here. We also have the selection brush, which is somewhat similar in the way it operates, but instead of automatically branching out and selecting what it thinks is the obvious edges of the selection, the brush tool is much more manual, but it's like I'm painting my selection on as you can see here. In Photoshop, you can use the Alt or Option key on the Mac to remove parts of a selection and you can add to a selection just by continuing to paint. So you can see here the selection that I made with my selection brush. Then we have the magic wand. The magic wand is looking for colors that are very similar. So let's start with Lucy's jacket here. It's looking for all the red. And if I click again, it's selecting a new selection. So if you want to add to the selection, either use the add option here, or you can hold down your shift key as you click. If you increase the tolerance, you will select a bigger variety of colors. I'm going to deselect that and start again. So you can see setting our setting to 55 in just a few clicks, we've basically selected Lucy's jacket there fairly well. So the magic wand tool is perfect for if you want a selection of just one color or colors close together. For example, if you were wanting to recolor Lucy's jacket, 
You can choose sample all layers, which I explained before. And of course, um, anti-aliasing just smooths out the edges so there's no jagged edges. And contiguous means you're only selecting colors that are next to each other. So if I click over here, it's only going to select those reds where they touch one another. If I turn off contiguous and click again, it selects all the red on the page, including this little tulip over here. The next tool we have is the Refine Selection Brush. So this is best used when you already have a selection. So I'm going to use the, I'm going to control click on um, the selection we took earlier using the Quick Select Brush. And then I'm going to use this Refine Selection tool to remove some of this wall. I'm going to push the selection inwards to remove some of those bits there. And then I'm going to go along the edge here and try to smooth out all the selection areas of her hair. So when you mouse over different parts of your image, your Refine Selection Brush will change. So first, if we're over this red area, that means we're going to add that to our selection. Control Z, of course, can undo it. If we hold down the Alt key or we're using the push mode, we are removing parts from the selection as we paint. And if we choose smooth, where the edge of the selection is, it's going to refine the edge. You can adjust the size of your brush from small to large, and you can change and adjust how hard the snap is, how quickly it snaps to a different color, and how hard or soft the selection edge is. So here, let's just add a little bit to our selection along here where Lucy's collar is. So we want to include that little red ridge of her collar. So we do want a fairly hard edge because, you know, it's a hard edge here. Before I finish working with this selection, I'm just going to show you a couple of different view options. At the moment, we've got a ruby lith overlay, which is red. We can show this selection on black or on white. And that's a great way to see how it will look and to pick up any stray pixels. The red really helps you see what's going on behind. And possibly with this bright red jacket, it isn't the most obvious to use. You can also adjust the opacity if you prefer. And you can always type an exact percentage. So now that's done, let's press Control J to create a new layer via copy. And here we've got the selection we made of Lucy using the Refine Selection Brush tool. Now we've just got one lucky last quick selection tool, which is the auto selection. Now the auto selection, to me, it makes more sense that auto selection is A. So honestly, it probably should be the first tool in the toolbox, but that's not how it works. And the auto selection, according to Adobe's, it automatically makes a selection when you draw a shape around the object you want to select. So let us just draw a square here around Lucy. She's the person we want to select. And just for comparison's sake, let's jump that to a new selection. So now you can see all the selections we made using all of the tools at our disposal. The quick selection tool that paints on a selection and finds the edge automatically. The selection brush tool that simply brushes a selection on wherever you paint without any smarts added to that. The magic wand tool that selects areas of the same color within your tolerance bounds so that you can easily select one area of one color. The Refine Selection Brush Tool that allows you to brush on a selection where the edges are automatically detected and then you can use other modes of the tools to brush away any excess to really refine that selection. The auto selection tool allows us to click and drag over an area and then the Adobe Sensei engine works out what we want to select within that area and creates a selection for us. And in terms of the time we invested in the selection and the results, I absolutely love the auto selection tool for this. The auto selection tool does have a couple of different options you haven't seen with the other um, selection tools.
They mainly to help you get at the shape of the selection you want. No matter what size or shape you choose, it will still be using the Adobe Sensei engine to actually select the item from your photograph. And we will go over the rectangle and ellipse, the lasso and polygonal lasso tools coming up in the series. They will be um, under the letter M and the letter L. So make sure you subscribe and click that bell icon so you get notified to learn more about those tools coming up in the series. Thanks so much for watching this video. I hope you have found it helpful and you've learned more about the quick selection tools in Photoshop Elements. If you've learned something, give me a like and don't forget to leave a comment if you have questions about the auto select tools. If you'd like to learn more about digital scrapbooking or Photoshop Elements, head to digitalscrapbookinghq.com and I'll see you in the next video.